Hey guys, Bub here, and today is the last day of extended support for Microsoft's Windows 7 operating system. This means that your computer will no longer receive updates from Microsoft, making it less and less secure to do simple stuff like browse the internet. This also means that in a short time, software developers such as Google Chrome and Firefox will stop supporting the operating system, rendering it pretty useless. In 2009, Windows 7 was the best operating system that was available, beating Windows Vista in performance and compatibility. However, 11 years later, Windows 7 isn't just the same. With modern options such as Windows 10 and Mac OS available, it begs the question, why are people still using Windows 7? The main reason why people still use Windows 7 is because of the UI. Most people who still use Windows 7 don't care about security, they only care about how it looks. Most people don't want to upgrade to Windows 10 due to the Metro design. Most people like the Aero design that came included in Windows 7. As of December 2019, Windows 7 still has 26.26% of the operating system market share. Six years later, Windows XP still has a 1.40% of the market share. Another question is, how is Microsoft going to get people to upgrade to Windows 10? The official free upgrade ended five years ago. And with most consumers not wanting to shell out $139 for Windows 10 Home, yes, not Pro, Home, how are users going to stay secure without having to spend $139? If you would like to upgrade and not do a clean install, you can use the Windows 10 installation media, which will give you a choice between upgrading your computer or creating a USB. I'm 99% sure this method does not need a product key, as long as your Windows 7 installation is activated. Then, there's burning Windows 10 ISO to a DVD or a USB flash drive and inserting it in your computer and booting into the BIOS. This way will erase your hard drive and completely reinstall Windows 10. When it gets to the product key screen, this is where stuff gets complicated and that's where we'll talk about later. However. You can continue, select your partition, and start installing Windows 10. Back on the topic of activating Windows 10, you actually don't have to pay $139 to activate it. Those little stickers that came on the bottom of your computer if you bought your computer with Windows 7, 99% of the time, those activation keys can be used to activate Windows 10. If you take those keys, put it in the activation screen, you should have a fully activated copy of Windows 10. This will most likely deactivate the current version of Windows that that product key is linked to. So, if you're using Windows 7 and you would like to do a clean install of Windows 10, Windows 7 will be deactivated, which shouldn't matter if you're reinstalling Windows 10 on the same machine that key was originated to. Another option besides using Windows is to switch to a Linux distribution. In this example, I'm using Ubuntu as it was rated one of the easiest Linux distributions for new users to figure out. Installing Ubuntu takes a little bit of tinkering, however, if you use an internet guide, you'll eventually figure it out. Ubuntu comes with a whole bunch of built-in software, including a free open-source Office suite, which includes slides, Excel, and a word processor. Ubuntu is less prone to get viruses, as it uses the Linux kernel instead of a Windows kernel. It will still get viruses, however, not as often as Windows does. It is also more faster on older systems due to the fact that it does not, uh, not require as many system resources. Windows 7 was a beloved operating system by many, and still, many businesses and schools still use it today. Make sure to stay secure by upgrading to Windows 10 or switching your operating system. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe as I'm near 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.